Good evening, everybody. I'm Roy Firestone, and this is Up Close Classic. He won six NBA championships, five MVP awards, two Olympic gold medals, and countless other accolades. Considered by many the greatest athlete of the 20th century. He is, of course, Michael Jordan, the best player the NBA has ever seen. But in 1984, he was a soft-spoken college junior from North Carolina. The measure of success and greatness in basketball, University of North Carolina, is not the awards and trophies. It's having a sandwich named after you. Let me give you an example. There is the sandwich named after Sam Perkins. There is the Big McAdoo named after Bob McAdoo. Dean Smith has his Smithsonian. The Larry Miller filler. And yes, there is now the Jordan sandwich. Let's discuss why it was almost a tongue sandwich. You know the reason. A lot of people don't. You have a habit of sticking your tongue out a lot on the court, huh? Well, it's a habit that I picked up when I was small, and uh, I got it from my father, and I just can't get rid of it. <laughs> Not a real big surprise. Michael Jordan, the unanimous first-team All-American for the second straight season, leading scorer in the ACC, a 19.6 average. He shot 55% from the field, 77% from the free-throw line. An outstanding story. Michael Jordan, as you'll learn in just a few moments, didn't make his high school basketball team one year and sprouted up from a, a height of six foot one, which obviously is not very tall for a basketball player, to six five in one year. Let's backtrack for a moment. You didn't make a high school basketball team, now you're the nation's college, nation's best college player? Well, I didn't make my varsity and that was a big thing in high school and uh, I wasn't that good. I was at a height of six one and I really didn't develop my abilities until after I grew up. Michael, what were you eating that you can sprout up four inches like that? I don't know. Yeah, whatever I was eating, it was good, and it helped me out a bit. <laughs> they call you the rabbit. That's one of the nicknames you had growing up. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about this guy. He worked so hard. One year he was running a 4.640. From one year to the next, he, he knocked that down from a 4.640 to a 4.340. You work very, very hard, and you've worked very hard in your basketball skills as well. It's been very important to you, right? I just think that I have the habits of working hard. I've I always been taught that to reach a goal that in life that you want, you have to work hard to get to it. And so far, I just, you know, have that in mind. You are the third of five children in your family. Uh, you come from a very, very close family. Your brother Larry, though, who is only five foot seven inches, was your big hero. In fact, he was your main inspiration. Is that not right? Yeah, he did. Uh, Larry used to be a, a very talented basketball player. He still is. And whenever I was about his height, he used to wear me out in the backyard, and uh, I guess from that determination just to beat him, uh, I guess that uh, made me work hard. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he's just an outstanding basketball player at his height. People uh, discuss all the times the academic as well as the athletic aspects of this game. You have to be a rare story because you weren't necessarily recruited by North Carolina, though they were interested in you. But you went to the campus yourself because you wanted to see for yourself what the school is about academically, right? Yeah. Um, I didn't, well, North Carolina wasn't recruiting me at this time. Uh, I had this uh, Project Uplift, which is an uh, organization where uh, I mean, high school students get the chance to go to colleges and just see how it's like. And mm -hmm. I got the chance to visit North Carolina, and I saw not just the, the bad side, but I saw the good side also. And I wasn't shielded away from the university, as a lot of schools do. Mm -hmm. So I got to see the whole university within itself without the coaches knowing. Once upon a time, you were an NC State fan. In <laughs> fact, you were not a big fan of North Carolina. You were a David Thompson fan, and you rooted against North Carolina State, all, uh, North Carolina, I should say, all the time. I was a very avid NC State fan. I really liked them very much. I was really a David Thompson fan with his style of play, and I just couldn't stand Carolina. I, I don't <laughs> know why. It was a, it's just something that I didn't like about Carolina. And you know, I, when I got the chance to visit both schools, then I saw the family like atmosphere in North Carolina that fitted me well. You wouldn't know it. This guy very nearly became an NCAA baseball player. In fact, I know that deep down, baseball might be your first love. Billy Martin is one of your inspirations and your biggest heroes. Now, people would say, Michael Jordan, he loves Billy Martin. How could that be? I just like his controversial attitude. He always aroused uh, the fans and still maintains a, a good record. How good a baseball player were you? I wasn't that good. <laughs> oh, now, we hear differently. I was pretty good. Uh, I played baseball ever since I was uh, seven, and I continued to play up until my 11th grade year. What position? I, I pitched, and I played center field, mm. first base. I was somewhat utility man. Yeah. But uh, I just enjoyed playing, and I did get a couple 
of offers along with my basketball offers and I just gave it up once I got to college. I want to talk about his dedication, his love, and his belief in himself in terms of being on the court or wherever the athletic arena is. This is a quote from Dean Smith. He said, of you. He doesn't come out and say, I'm better than you, but somewhere something comes through that he feels he is better as a player. Is that fair, do you think? I don't know. Uh, I think it's fair coming from Coach Smith. Uh, <laughs> he's a, a coach that finds a lot of weaknesses in your, in your game, and he wants you to improve on your weaknesses. And, you know, he, he will find a weakness until you graduate. And 